Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in, my friends. We're back with Valheim, and I would be doing myself and my channel a disservice if I didn't do a settings video for this game, because you know I like to do my settings videos to help you guys out. I'm happy to do the research, and this specific settings video, I've got three things that I've found out that you should really turn off because it improves the look of the game massively. And I'll run through the settings of you now and then I'll demonstrate it at the end of the video. So I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're staying safe, my friends. Let's get straight into the video. So obviously, you're going to load your game up. We're going to pop onto settings. Straight to graphics. Right. Now, this, this game isn't super graphically demanding. So if you've got a decent PC, you can run all of this on high. Obviously, if not, you can drop it down to medium. This, this is only four options, guys. So it's kind of down to your PC. You can just play with this. You know, it still looks good on medium, to be honest. Like, I keep mine on high because I've got a decent PC, but, you know, that is up to you. Have a little play with that. But the most important parts are these bits down here, okay? So you want Bloom on, SSAO on, Sun Shafts on, Motion Blur, <coughs> turn that off because it makes a game. It's, I hate Motion Blur. <laughs> it shouldn't even be in games. Tessellation on, Soft Particles on, Depth of Field off. It doesn't do a very good job, guys, and it makes things look worse. It tries to focus things in front of you and blur out everything in the background, and it just, it, it's not good. Anti-aliasing, obviously keep that on, because that makes everything look sharp and nice. Obviously, if you've got a very low-end PC, you could turn that off. The graphics would be bad, but the game will run smooth. So that's your decision. Depends on your power of your PC, really. But these things you can play with, you know. I'm giving you an idea. You know, you can play with these four and this one. These are the ones that will do, you know, up your FPS the most if you lower them. Chromic, chromatic aberration. Now, this is a funny one because if you don't know what this is, right, some people may look at this and think, oh, it looks new. I'll keep it on because I want the nice settings, right? Now, what this actually is, this is actually designed sort of for camera lenses to help capture light to, uh, like when a lot of light's coming into an area. But what this can actually do is sort of, oh, best way to explain it, in high, in high cr contrast areas, so... Areas of the game that are high contrast, they're very detailed, it can actually make it look worse than if it was off. You know, and obviously there's quite a lot of detailed areas in this game because there's a lot of stuff on this game, especially when you're in a forest and there's just rocks and lots of trees and lots of things on your screen. You know, so this can actually make things look worse. Now, I suggest turning it off. And I'm not going to do it now because I'm going to show you in the game. You know, V-Sync, just leave it off because, I mean... If you're having frame, so if you're having um, screen tearing problems, turn it on. If you're not, that's fine. Just leave it off because don't forget you can always match. You can always match this to the frames you get, and if you match the hertz to the frames you're getting and whatever resolution you're on, so say you're in 1080p, and you and you know, I I mean I cap mine to 60 because I don't need to play this game more than 60, so I cap that at 60 hertz, 59 hertz, and then I don't get screen tearing, which means I can keep VSync off and it keeps input lag out because VSync causes input input lag. Right, so that's the graphical settings, guys. I'm going to load into my game now. I'm just going to do basically a quick demonstration, guys, showing you what turning them three specific settings off does to your game. So we're going to run out front, and hopefully we don't get attacked. But we do have... Here's my character, by the way. You know, we're rocking the old troll cape with the full bronze armor set up and the bronze buckler with the bronze axe. I need to get a bronze sword, to be honest, because I heard they're better. But there's my friend's house. <laughs> We're good at the moment. We've got a little dock as well. Even any boats on another place because a bit of portal. Right, so we're going to do it here, guys. Now, I'm just going to show you what I mean, right? So if we go settings, graphics, we turn off motion blur, depth of field, and chromic aberration. Now, keep your eyes peeled and watch the background. Boom. See that? Now look. <laughs> right, just to show you one more time. Turn them back on. See? You've also got a bit of motion blur on your camera. It's quite hard to see on a mouse, but you really can, you can see it if you look closely. But it's mainly the blurriness. So one more time to show you guys, and then we'll call it a day. Off chromic aberration, depth of field, and motion blur. Ready? Bang. It also increases the light a little bit as well. You can see the ma a massive difference. I mean, look, you can see the trees clean now. You haven't got a great deal of... You can see more contrast on the trees. You haven't got much blur, 
and the motion blur's gone, which is a wonderful thing. So that's going to do, guys. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, hit me down in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Stay safe out there and I'll see you for the next one. Peace out.